Hello and welcome to the Microsoft Intune for Education Deployment Workshop video series. My name is Carlos Brito. I'm a program manager with the Intune for Education product group, and this is module 6.4, Windows Autopilot Fundamentals. The Windows Autopilot overview module will be covered in four parts. This first part will focus on the Windows Autopilot fundamentals. Future sessions will build on the remaining parts of the Windows Autopilot experiences, starting with the IT pros, followed by the OEMs and partners, and the final session will cover the end users experiences part of the flow. What is Windows Autopilot? Windows Autopilot is an evolution of the Windows deployment process. It is a collection of several cloud technologies that enables customers to set up and pre-configure new devices to get them quickly ready for productive use. The idea is to move away from the traditional processes of maintaining multiple images or re-imaging devices and instead leverage the images that came directly from the OEM or resellers and transform them to meet your needs to get devices ready for the classroom. Autopilot covers a wide range of use cases, starting with the traditional scenarios where devices are first joined to an Active Directory domain and later registering to Azure Active Directory, to cloud-only scenarios where devices are joined directly to Azure Active Directory. It also covers the typical EDU shared scenario for earlier grades or scenarios in which devices are assigned to specific students or one-to-one -one scenarios. It also covers scenarios where devices are designed for single purposes in kiosk modes. The idea is to make the configuration process of devices simpler for the IT Pro, while at the same time enabling resellers and partners to add additional value. For example, pre-configuring devices with policies and applications prior to shipping them to the end users. And ultimately, the idea is to make the overall device setup experience for the end user as simple as possible so they can focus on learning. Windows Autopilot offers two distinct enrollment options. The first option, the end user enrollment, is most suitable for the scenario where each student get assigned their own device or one-to-one. -one. The user-driven mode of Windows Autopilot supports the modern cloud-only scenarios where devices are joined directly into Azure Active Directory, and the more traditional scenarios where devices first join the local Active Directory and later get registered into Azure Active Directory. It supports the migration from Windows 7, which can be done in conjunction with Configuration Manager to allow the use of Windows Autopilot without having to register these existing devices into the Windows Autopilot service. And finally, it supports the pre-caching of apps and policies with the pre-provisioned deployment option, previously known as Windows Autopilot White Glove. The second enrollment option, which is the bulk enrollment, or shared device scenario commonly used in early grades. The self-deploy mode of Windows Autopilot only supports the modern cloud-only scenario where devices are directly joined into Azure Active Directory. Windows Autopilot leverages two additional cloud services, Azure Active Directory and Microsoft Intune. Azure Active Directory provides the identity used for authentication and groups used for both policies and apps deployments. The Intune Cloud Service will contain all of the policies and applications to get these devices ready for the classroom. The Autopilot Cloud Service contains all of the configuration that determines the required steps for the initial device setup during the out-of-box experience for any device that's registering to the Autopilot Service by customers, OEM, and partners. There are three main important stages for a successful Windows Autopilot deployment, the IT pros, the OEM and partners, and the end users experiences. The IT pros stage is a very critical one as it ensures that all of the required scenarios are taken into account. The configuration of the Windows Autopilot service will have a direct impact on the user experience for setting up those devices for the first time and it will dictate both the hardware and OS requirements to achieve them. The policies and applications configured in Intune will ensure students will have all they need for the classroom. 
The OEM and partner stage is primarily focused on ensuring that the device meets the needs of the scenarios identified by the IT pros. Before deploying a device using Windows Autopilot, the device must be registered with the Windows Autopilot deployment service, and the registration can be performed by the OEM by leveraging the API method or by partners through the Partner Center uh, portal, which will be covered in part three of this video series. The devices can then be shipped either directly to students or to the schools, depending on the methodology that you intend to use for distributing those devices. Finally, the end user experience as part of the flow brings to life the experience defined and configured by DIT pros, creating a simple and consistent process for end users to complete the initial configuration of their devices to get them ready for the classroom. Here's a sneak preview of what we'll be covering in the next sessions of the Windows Autopilot Overview video series. In the Windows Autopilot for IT Pro session, we'll be taking you through all of the required steps to configure Autopilot end-to-end, -end, from the dynamic group creation in Azure Active Directory to pull in all of the devices with a specific group tag that has been registering to the Autopilot service, to creating and assigning a user-driven profile and ultimately registering a test device using the CSV hardware hash import method to ensure the device walks through the complete autopilot workflow. Next, in the Windows Autopilot for OEMs and partner session, we'll be covering how to establish a relationship with a partner so they can register devices in your tenant to the additional value that they can provide with the pre-caching of apps and policies using the pre-provisioned deployment capability of Autopilot. And finally, we'll walk you through the end user experiences for a one-to-one -one user deployment, comparing a more personalized experience of having a user assigned to a specific device to a more generalized deployment with a standard one-to-one -one user deployment. This is the end of module 6.4, Windows Autopilot Fundamentals. In the next session, we will take a closer look at the IT Pro's experiences with Windows Autopilot.